Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Eva and in today's video I want to show you my recent purchases. Those are items that I picked up over the past few weeks but I feel like I have some great pieces that I want to share with you. First thing I want to show you is this pair of Converse high tops. I feel like these shoes are so cute. I picked them up last week from Nordstrom and I cannot wait to wear those. They are from this canvas material and the color is really nice. It's off-white cream color and what I love about them is the platform. That makes them a little bit different than your traditional Converse shoes. A bit updated version, trendier and very cute and neutral. Second thing I want to show you, it's probably by far my favorite thing in this haul and it's a, another pair of high tops, it's this Nike Air Force Ones and I love the color. It is gray with a little bit of blue and green undertones which makes them very unique and different. I don't really see this color a whole lot, so I'm glad I picked it up. These shoes are so cute. They will make any outfit stand out. I just feel like those shoes are adorable. I love everything about them. Every detail, I love the color. I, these are size six and a half, and I'm normally size seven, but if you're buying those online, a good tip is to check not only the size, but the centimeters because those are 6.5 and they're 23.5 centimeters and my other pair is size 7 and they're the same centimeters. So that's how I knew this was the right size. And I don't know why those shoes are not really consistent with the sizing. It could be because some of them are like considered men's shoes, some are women's shoes and some are kids shoes. Now, I just cannot wait to wear those. I haven't worn them yet, but they're just like so pretty. And just keeping it in the same direction, I have a third pair of high tops and I promise those are the last ones. And it is this Adidas high top. I haven't seen many people wearing this particular style of shoes and I like them. I feel like they're men's shoes, but they are super like cool. And I wore those few times. I always get a lot of questions and a lot of compliments on them. They are super soft, cushion and they are made of leather nice colors very neutral but the red detail makes them like very unique and very nice so i'm done with the high tops but keeping it in the same direction and going with the shoes i went to marshall's a couple of weeks ago and i picked up great items from the summer and one of my recent finds were those slip-on sandals are super high quality shoes and I love the square toe that is really in right now and I paid $30 for those very inexpensive and very trendy because I don't like to like spend a lot of money on trendy pieces that will go out of style in like few months they look great with any summer outfit I've worn them with jeans shorts biker shorts dresses and the quality of those is really good. On one of my trips to Marshalls, I picked up this bronzer, Marc Jacobs, and I paid $16.99. I'm so happy that Marshalls has this like very high quality uh, makeup once in a while. So, of course, great packaging. It's um, high-end makeup. It has a huge mirror and just like the bronzer is very nice. It's on the lighter side bronzer, but I like this particular tone of bronzer that I can wear all over my face. They had a lot of Marc Jacobs products and I think they were there just because they changed the packaging and now they have like white packaging, which for me is not a problem. The product is the same. They just updated the packaging and that's why you can find those at Marshalls on a very like affordable discounted price. I picked up a new pair of sunglasses, not that I needed them, but I saw those when I was at Nordstrom and they caught my eye. It was kind of an impulsive purchase. Those sunglasses are by the brand Carolina Lemke and they are handmade. They're really nice quality and they were $60, but they can compare to like 
designer brand sunglasses. Pick them up because of the quality. They're like super, super high quality, very like heavy and nice. I love this chain detail. It is uh, just like gold chain detail on the side. Like super nice sunglasses. And for the price, I couldn't pass on those. Then I picked up my favorite lip glosses from Bath & Body Works. They are the Seoul by Glow Lip Shines. I love those lip glosses because they are moisturizing and very shiny. But a lot of times they are sold out everywhere. So especially when Bath & Body Works have their semi-annual sale, they are always sold out. So once they get them back in stock, I like to like get few of them just just as a backup and uh, they always have like buy two get one free this one is new one for me i haven't used this one it's a night balm and i was excited to try it it's very moisturizing and nice and the rest are just repurchases they're just like clear glosses i picked up a few joggers i want to show you my first pair is this light baby blue with white spatter this one is from the brand Splendid and I got it in size medium. I got this one from Marshalls as well. It was very inexpensive, I believe like under $20. Has like the pockets and that is how it's at the bottom. I love this drawer because it is very thin and it's nice for like a chillier summer evenings plus the color is very nice and summery. It fits like nicely, oversized, very cute. And then I ordered a couple of joggers from Pretty Little Tink and this is the casual jogger. I got one in the camel color. This one is very nice. I love these joggers and I have a full review on these joggers. So if you're interested in picking those up, I will leave the link below to my video where I talk more in depth about the style and the sizing and everything. This one is the neutral color and I got this one in size US 2. I've worn this many times this summer because it is very thin and nice and neutral. And the other one I picked up is this one in the color pale olive and this one I got in size US 4 because I wanted to have a pair that's a little bit on the bigger side but uh, this one is a little bit thicker than the other one so it is still like the casual jogger but somehow it is like a different material i have not worn this one yet but i'm excited to wear this in the fall when the temperatures drop and this like color will be perfect for like the cooler weather it is still like neutral but a little bit different than your traditional and like gray or black jogger I haven't bought a lot of clothes this summer. I felt like I was wearing the same things over and over again. Since I wasn't buying clothes, I wanted to just like update my jewelry collection and have some new pieces that can like dress up my outfits. And I wanted to get like good quality pieces and I wasn't ready to spend money on like solid gold. So I went on Etsy and I was looking for sellers and like jewelry designers that make gold filled pieces. And then I found this uh, shop, it's called Priscilla M. I will just link it down below. She has very nice jewelry, gold filled pieces. And I picked up this that ring. is 14 karat gold filled hammered band. It is very simple and minimal ring. Very nice quality and you can tell it is handmade because a lot of sellers on Etsy, they just buy the stuff from somewhere and resell it and they state that it's handmade, but a lot of times it is not handmade. Then another piece of jewelry I picked up from Etsy is this necklace. It's a herringbone necklace. I was looking into those necklaces for a while. If it's like a solid, 14 karat gold it runs about six seven eight hundred dollars and I wasn't ready to spend that much so I wanted to get like still a nice quality that will last me for a few years but I don't like like gold plated even with proper care gold plated doesn't really last long at least in my opinion so I wanted to get gold filled that I can like enjoy for 
many years and this is 18 karat gold field it is 17.5 inches long and i just think this is such a nice high quality necklace i will leave the sellers both of the those shops down below because they are really high quality pieces and they were very affordable the ring was 50 dollars and this is 35 dollars and that's including the shipping the other purchases i got are those hoops gold hoops i got those from target and as you can tell they're they're not like your actual standard round hoops they are just like pinched right here and right here which gives them very nice and unique look and they have this like diamond or like a stone right here which you cannot see when you wear them but such a nice quality nicely heavy item and also from target i picked up a little bit bigger and thicker hoops those are hollow they are not heavy which is probably nice because they are big hoops and you don't want to have like really weighty <laughs> hoops the perfect gold color very like soft and buttery a color that looks good on everyone i've seen a lot of ads for ellie veils jewelry and i feel like it's a very popular jewelry brand over the internet i believe she was like a celebrity stylist before she like made her jewelry brand and i got this necklace this is not gold plated or anything, but it's supposed to be water resistant. You can shower with it and just like do your everyday activities. Of course, none of those jewelry is recommended to be like used in the pool or in the ocean, but it is pretty durable. I like this necklace. It's just like simple and nice. I will see how long it will last, but rather than that, I love it. Those were all my items that I picked up recently. Those are the items that I really enjoyed and I felt like they're worth sharing. I will try to find links and leave those items down below, especially the ones from Etsy. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where you can see how I style and how I wear those pieces. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!